Hello and welcome to this section of the TI-89 Calculator Tutor. Here we're going to do statistical regression modeling. And basically what that is is a fancy word that says that, you remember how we were plotting the scatter plots on the previous lessons where we had the little uh, squares or rectangles that would denote our XY points in our plane there. Well the scatter plot just plots the points. But what if you wanted to try to fit a curve that kind of went through those points in terms of an actual equation? I mean, what if you had a lot of statistical data that looked like a parabola, let's say, and you wanted to calculate like which parabola would actually fit right through those points? So that is what st statistical regression does for you. So what we need to do is go into the apps menu, go into the data matrix guy and create a new set of data or open a set of data if that's what you, if that's what you have. We'll just call it I or something. And so here's our guy. Now you can only do regression modeling if you have XY data. So just to sort of cement this, we'll go back to our example of the bar, the horizontal bar with the blowtorch at one end. And we're measuring the temperature of uh, locations on that bar. So the first column is going to be our distance that we're going to measure away from the origin. So this will be uh, 0 0.1, let's say, uh, you know, 0.2. 0.4, they don't have to be evenly spaced, 0 0.6, 0 0.9, 1 1.1, uh, 1.4, you know, 1.5, 1.9, and let's just do 2.0. So we have 10 sets of data. Now at these locations, we are measuring the temperature. So very close to the origin where the blow blowtorch is, let's go back to our example, 300 degrees, super hot, right? And what happens is, let's say it starts dropping very, very steeply right near where the, uh, the uh, blowtorch is. And as we get farther away, it kind of flattens out like this. So maybe it goes from 300 to 250. And then it goes down to 200. And as we get a little bit farther away, maybe it'll start to flatten out. 100 and, uh, let's do 180, let's say. Let's make it drop by, by uh, 20 degrees. Maybe 160 maybe a hundred and you know fifty or something like that hundred and forty five maybe a hundred and forty two hundred and forty one and let's say say hundred and forty degrees so let's say two meters away or whatever it's still hundred and forty degrees but you can see from the way your data is constructed that you measured that it's dropping incredibly rapidly early on but then it kind of flattens out as you get farther away alright so we want to look at this and we want to furthermore pick a a regression model to fit our data points. So the very first thing we do is go into the calculate menu, which is where the uh, 